क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर मेजर्स एक्स लिमिटेड बीइंग अ मैन्युफैक्चरर सोल्ड गुड्स टू मेजर्स वाई लिमिटेड होलसेलर एंड इश्यूड इनवॉइस फॉर द सेल ऑन वन एट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन फाइंड द टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ गुड्स इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंडिपेंडेंट केसेस मेजर्स एक्स लिमिटेड रिमूव द गुड्स फॉर डिलीवरी टू मेजर्स वाई लिमिटेड ऑन सिक्सटींथ ऑगस्ट टू so is supply involving movement of goods or supply does not involve movement of goods so here supply involves movement of goods okay so therefore we need to give invoice when by 16th august we should have given the invoice that is the due date of invoice measures y limited collect the goods from the premises on x limited so in the first case due date of invoice is what the due date of invoice is at the time of removal that is 16th august and what is the actual date of invoice one eight so we need to take time of supply in case of goods they are asking time of supply in case of goods so normal cases so we need to take due date of invoice or actual date of invoice whichever is earlier actual date of invoice one eight due date is 168 therefore time of supply is one eight then number 2 measures y limited collects the goods from the premises of measures x limited on 10th august 2021 so then supply does not involve movement of goods at the time of delivery will be taken as the due date of invoice so therefore due date of invoice will be 10th august and time of supply will be invoice date that is actual date of invoice or due date of invoice whichever is earlier so time of supply will be 18 only so in the first two cases the time of supply is 1st august only okay then measures y limited made full payment on 26 july 2021 that is irrelevant payment date is not at all relevant so we need to take due date of invoice or actual date of invoice whichever is earlier so therefore here there is no information so again time of supply will be 1st august only why so payment date is irrelevant so we need to take 1st august okay so but see here it is given as 26 july however there is a notification where in the time of supply will be date of invoice or last date of issuance of invoice whichever is earlier will be taken okay so then number 3 me four measures y limited credited the payment in the bank account of measures x limited on 28 july 2021 measures x limited recorded the same as receipt in his books on 3rd august 2018 the goods were dispatched on 5th august from the warehouse so credited actually payment date and all is relevant irrelevant but when the goods are dispatched 5th august so that is the due date of invoice and actual date of invoice is 1st august whichever is earlier okay time of supply shall be date date of invoice or last date of issuance of invoice so because of notification 66 2017 we should always take due date of invoice or actual date of invoice whichever is earlier only okay clear here so date of payment is relevant in this case suppose if the person is opting for composition scheme then what will happen so then we will be taking payment date also payment date is relevant due date of invoice or actual date of invoice or date of payment whichever is earlier will be taken okay if the person is covered under composition scheme 